Before the likes of David O, Bonner Boy Whiskey and Lately Rima started gaining international recognition. Did you know there were musicians from Nigeria who have collaborated with international stars, performed on international stages, and even got nominated for Grammy? These great musicians have written their names in the sand of time with their exceptional musical talents and achievements. Some people say, why are they talk like this? No be talk like this, them take to carry me, go please in me, oh. Join us into this video as we are going to be talking about the top 10 legendary musicians from Yoruba land. We are going to be talking about their struggles, their triumphs, and the indelible mark they have left on the world of music in Nigeria and globally. Sonny Ade born Sunday at Deni on September 22nd, 1946, is a Nigerian musician known as the king of juju music. His journey into music began in the mid 1960s when he joined Moses Olaya Federal Rhythm Dandies. But his rise to fame was marked by the formation of his own band, The African Beat, in 1967. With his unique blend of traditional African rhythm, electric jitter, he revolutionized Juju music, bringing it to international acclaim. His 1982 album Juju Music catapulted him to global recognition, making him one of the first African musicians to gain international fame. This album, followed by Synchro System, earned him his first Grammy nomination in 1983, making him the first African to be nominated for the prestigious award. His ability to blend traditional Yoruba music with modern instruments created a sound that was both authentic and contemporary. Throughout his career, Kik Sonyade has received numerous accolades, including Kora Award for Best African Artist of the Decade in 1999. His influence extends beyond music. He has contributed to the preservation of Yoruba culture and has been a mentor to many young artists. With over 120 albums to his name, King Sonia De remains a respected figure in African music. Pella and Nicola Pokuti, born on October 15, 1938 in Abeokuta, Nigeria, was more than just a musician, he was a revolutionary. Pella Panion Afrobeat, a genre that fused traditional African rhythm with jazz, high life, funk, and soul. His music was a powerful tool for social commentary. Fela's fearless activism, coupled with his musical genius, made him a formidable figure in both the music world and political landscape. Fela's career was marked by his defiant spirit and relentless pursuit of justice. His band Africa 70 and later Egypt 80 produced some of the most influential music of the 20th century. His 1977 album Zombie, which mocked the Nigerian army, led to a brutal attack on his house, the Kalakuta Republic, by soldiers. Despite this, Fela never gave up. Throughout his career, Fela received numerous accolades, including the prestigious Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award posthumously in the year 2021. Fela's influence is evident in the work of artists like Beyoncé, who sampled his music, and in the ongoing popularity of Afrobeat in Nigeria. The next musician I'm going to be talking about later got born again and stopped performing in burial ceremonies and other secular gatherings. He would later start his own church in Lagos. Do you hear? Give me banana. Before I jump like monkey, monkey they shop banana. Give me banana. Before... We are talking about no other person than Ebenezer Obe. Ebenezer Obe is renowned for his innovative juju music. His musical journey began in the 1950s, but it was in the 1960s that he formed his band, the International Brothers, which later became Inter Reformers Band. His music, characterized by the infusion of Yoruba percussion, talking drums, and Christian team quickly gained popularity. Obey unique style known as Miliki-san distinguished him from his contemporaries. 
His songs often contain messages of morality, advice, and proverb which resonated with many listeners. Albums like Board Members and Correct Affairs showcase his ability to blend traditional rhythm with modern influence, making his music both timeless and contemporary. Throughout his career, Ebenezer Obey has received numerous awards, including the Nigerian National Merit Award and the MON Member of the Order of the Ninja. In recognition of his contributions to music and culture, he was awarded a honorary Doctor of Music degree by the Olabisi Onambajo University in Ogo State. His influence extends beyond music as he has been involved in philanthropic activities and mentoring young musicians. <laughs> Orlando Awo, born in 1932 in State, was a prolific musician and band leader, known for his unique blend of high life and traditional Yoruba music. His career spanned over 40 years, during which he released numerous hits that resonated with fans across Nigeria and beyond. Orlando Award journey into music began in the 1950s, and he quickly established himself as a leading figure in the high life genre. Orlando Award's ability to blend different musical styles while maintaining African sound made him a beloved figure in the music industry. Despite facing numerous challenges, including political oppressions and personal hardship, Orlando will remain dedicated to his craft. Ike Dairo, born on January 6, 1930 in Ofa, Nigeria, is celebrated as one of the pioneers of Juju music. His career took off in the 1950s and he became known for his innovative approach to the genre, incorporating elements of Yoruba drumming, jita, and accordion into his music. Dairo Band, the Monster Orchestra, later renamed the Blue Spot, became one of the most popular musical groups in Nigeria. His music was characterized by its rich harmonies, intricate rhythm, and meaningful lyrics, often addressing themes of love, morality, and social justice. His 1963 album Salome was a significant breakthrough, earning him international recognition. In 1963, he made history as the first African musician to be awarded the prestigious MBE member of the most excellent order of the British Empire by the Queen Elizabeth II for his contribution to music. His influence on Juju music is undeniable as he sets the standard for future generations of musicians. Dairo legacy continues to inspire and shape the music industry, making him a revered figure in the industry. Haruna Ishola was a legendary musician known for his mastery of Akpala music. Akpala, a traditional Yoruba genre, was revitalized and popularized by Ishola, who infused it with modern elements while maintaining its cultural authenticity. His deep voice and intricate drumming pattern captivated audience, making him one of Nigeria's most beloved musicians. Ishola music often addressed theme of social justice, morality, and the human condition, resonating deeply with listeners. His 1969 hit, Oroki Social Club, catapulted him to national fame, and he continued to release numerous successful albums throughout his career. <laughs> Sikiru Ayide Barista, born on February 9, 1948 in Lagos, Nigeria, was a pioneering figure in the development of Fuji music. Originally derived from traditional Yoruba music, Fuji was transformed by Barista into a dynamic and contemporary genre. His innovative approach, which combined traditional rhythm and modern instruments, set him apart from his peer and earned him widespread acclaim. His debut album, Iba, released in 1966, marked the beginning of a prolific career, 
that spans several decades. He's like Fuji garbage, reality and destiny showcases his ability to blend different musical styles while maintaining African sound. His influence on Fuji music is undeniable as he set the standard for future generations of Fuji musicians like Wasia Inde, Basuma, Sahido Shikwa, and a host of others. <laughs> Shira Peter, born on May 13, 1958 in Ogo State, Nigeria, is a renowned musician known for his innovative fusion of juju, afrobeat, and hard life, creating a unique sound called Afro Juju. Shira Peter's career began in the early 1980s and he quickly rose to fame with the release of his groundbreaking album, Afro Juju Series, in 1989. This album was a massive success, earning him numerous awards and establishing him as a leading figure in the Nigerian music industry. Shina Peter's energetic performances and charismatic stage presence captivated audience, making him a household name. His music, characterized by his infectious rhythm, powerful vocals resonated with fans across Nigeria and beyond. He's like Afro Juju and a host of others showcase his ability to blend traditional and contemporary sound, making his music both timeless and modern. Salewa Abeni, born on May 5, 1961 in Ekpe, Nigeria, is a trailblazing musician known for his mastery of waka music. Abeni's career began at a young age and she quickly rose to fame with the release of her debut album, late General Morita Lara Mat Muhammad, in 1976. This album was a massive success, and it had the title of Queen of Waka Music and establishing her as a leading figure in Nigerian music. Abeni music is characterized by its rich melodies, intricate rhythm, and powerful vocals, often addressing themes of love, morality, and social justice. Her music is both timeless and modern. Lagbaja is a Nigerian musician known for his unique personal and innovative fusion of traditional Yoruba music with jazz, high life, and, Yor and Afrobeat. Lagbaja mask identity and stage presence have captivated audience since he burst onto the music scene in the early 1990s. Lagbaja debut album Lagbaja, released in 1993, marked the beginning of a prolific career that has seen him release numerous hits and gain international acclaim. Hits like Coco Below, Never Far Away, and Gra Gra showcase his talent for creating music that is both entertaining and socially relevant. Is there any other Yoruba legendary musician I did not mention in this video? Do let me know in the comment section below. <laughs>